I haven't made a video in a while. Um, just because, you know, like I said, I only make videos to talk about, you know, just stuff that's happening or something that makes me sad or something that uh, I'm pretty upset about. And I was going through my YouTube page today. And I was just scrolling on through my YouTube as I normally do. I was right about to hop on to watch Tommy's uh, blog talk radio show. And I was just scrolling through my YouTube page and I saw um, pop up on my screen um, one of Tommy's groups called YWMV2 which, you know, stands for Your World, My Views, too. And this was the women's page. This is a page that they made for women, so it's called Women's Views. And I just saw this woman posting on there. I didn't see it. It didn't look out of the ordinary to me at first. And then I realized I took a closer look at what she was saying. And um, I went to scroll down and look at the pictures. And, um, sorry. I'm just really upset about this, but I wanted to get this video out because when stuff like this happens, I just want to get it out. And the best way that I can get it out is, um, through making a YouTube video. But I was really down and I looked at the pictures and the, the girl... Whoever she was had photoshopped photos of um, Tommy and his and his daughter doing sexual acts. She also uh, photoshopped Tommy's daughter in sexual, um, photoshopped their faces on top of people's faces that were doing sexual acts. Um, and so. I didn't know what to do. At, at that point, I tried to make her stop by like, commenting and telling her I was going to report her to the police because, uh, you know, that's illegal and she just, you know, it, it didn't face her. So I didn't have any way to contact Tommy. So I tried to go over to uh, the chat and I just kept posting over and over again that it was urgent and I need to talk to Tommy and someone's posting on this page, these horrible pictures. And luckily enough, people saw it where they tried to alert Tommy also. It, I mean, the, the saddest part was Tommy was so happy. He was in the middle of, you know, singing a song, jamming. And he has to get his good time and him just live, try to live his life interrupted by this kind of disgusting foolishness. And it just doesn't make any sense to be why people go to these kind of links to attack him when he's not doing anything but trying to spread a message. And I'm just... I'm just really upset. And I know that Tommy is upset. His whole night is ruined now. Um, and I just... This is a message to all of these people out here that keep bothering him. Stop it. Leave this man alone. Okay? He's not doing anything to physically hurt you. What you guys did and how far you guys go, that crosses the line. That absolutely and completely crosses the line. There's a difference between having a different opinion as someone and attacking someone's child and attacking their life and attacking the people around them. You need to stop this. This is horrible. There's no reason at all to do this to a person, a man, anyone. This is not something, and you can go on and on and talk about how he said this about my child and all of this stupid nonsense. Has he ever photoshopped a photo of your child in a sexual act? Has he ever done that? Because 
people can say anything that they want to say, but it's a difference when you go to these kind of graphic and disgusting links to make somebody seem like something because you feel a certain kind of way. And I just, I, I, I can't even, I have these, these this picture, like, it, it's, I can't even imagine what it's like for him because I can't even, I mean, this, these photos are like engraved in my brain and it's disgusting. And I'm just, I'm so sorry. I just don't understand why these people do this kind of stuff. It's not, in the, in the long run, you aren't helping the black community. You aren't doing anything for the black community. This degrades us. This makes us look more worse and worse. This is why he has a message that he has because of this, this, this kind of stuff. Like, you, you aren't helping. You aren't making it easier. You're making it so much worse. This is not the way to go about doing it. Harassing and stalking a man and going through all of this stuff is not the way to get somebody to stop doing something if you want them to stop doing something. If you don't like what he has to say, don't watch him. It's not hard. It's a difference between, okay, someone that's being bullied, you're not being bullied if you go to the place where the bully is and poke a stick at the bully and taunt the bully and the, the bully that you think is bully lashes out back at you because of it. That's not bullying. That is you going and being obnoxious and then getting upset when someone attacks you back in a way that is more uh, that has more, more of a profound impact. So all of a sudden, you're the victim. I just had enough. I'm sorry. I just have had had enough. And it's, it's upsetting to me because, one, I had to see those photos. I don't know Tommy personally, but I have watched him for quite some time. I'm upset about his daughter. Because I cannot believe that somebody would do that to a child. I just, I really cannot believe it. All right. Sorry.